Hi, hope you're having a great day again and uh, this is my third video for the day and this one I want to specifically talk about, right? Um, why aren't the price of Bitcoin moving, right? Or why aren't the price of crypto overall moving? Now, so as you can see here, this is a chart of Bitcoin options market open interest. As you can see, and this is uh, the expiry date is over the next three months. See, most of the prices, right, is... It's slightly below 5k that means it's still at the um, um probably about around the 4k level which is at the current price that means it's expected to stay range bound that's based on expectation of the investors because this is options trading right this is based on expectations of people who actually enter into a position and in terms of 10k mark there's only a five percent chance that you know based on this kind of pattern there's only a five percent chance that bitcoin will reach ten thousand dollars per unit of bitcoin in the three months time which is overall in 2019 yeah so who, who said this so it is according to emmanuel go a former equity derivatives trader at JP Morgan and a co-founder of SKU, a data analytics firm that tracks Bitcoin futures and options data. Daily volume in the options market has doubled since the beginning of the year with around $10 million traded every 24 hours. So increased trading volumes means that you know the data is definitely more reliable than before. So now they are looking at this kind of data. And what they are showing is that right um, trading options allow investors to bet whether the price of the best known cryptocurrency will reach a certain level at a set point in time and looking at one of the most popular trades on the books a sharp rally in 2019 is unlikely we have a ten dollar oh sorry ten thousand dollars september expiry which is currently priced with only a five delta um five delta means there's only a five percent chance that bitcoin a price in USD will be above $10,000 come September 2019. That's what basically it says. So very, very low chance, right? So um, I think because of news like this, right, and the following few news, you will see, and I also begin to sense that the market and the investors as a whole are experience again the fatigue, uh, again experience the boredom about you know crypto overall. They're losing interest again in this market. That's generally what I feel again still. And I mean the news of US SEC are delaying decision on their Bitcoin ETF is not helping either, right? So now they have delayed both the decision on both the um, Bitcoin ETF, both um, application from Vanet and Bitwise, they're going to delay that by another 45 days to May period in May. So first one Vanek is May 16 and um, sorry, the Bitwise one is by mid May 16 and the Vanek one will be decided by May 21st. So somewhere in second and third week of May will they, they make a decision. So of course, this kind of news is not happening and, you know, by then, who knows what will happen again, right? But it seems like by then, they have to finally make a decision, right? So that's good, but let's see. So next, also, we have backed again another delay, which we still don't know when are they going to officially launch the platform and this is with much uh, anticipation that people are looking forward to back, right? Especially with the... Um, the Bitcoin futures contracts, right, which will be basically much better be than the current fiat futures we have for Bitcoin because then it means there are greater support for the actual Bitcoin and then it will give more positive support to the price of Bitcoin and especially next year, the halving is going to happen, supply is going to be, you know, growth in supply will going to reduce further and with increased demand, then it will be more positive impact on prices. And the latest news is that Back is still don't have a launch date and they continue to say that they are working closely with the regulators, right? So for SEC, they still need to basically make it a public news first that they are officially reviewing back proposal and then they have 30 days for a public review period before they decide. So till now, they're still, SEC still has not publicly said that they are already reviewing back. So that means it will not be launched before May. That's definitely it, right? So it may be in June, but that's a wishful thinking. I think it could be even towards the end of 2019 is probably what my guess is. And I mean, why I say people are feeling fatigued? Because there were a lot of hope, um, a lot of anticipation again, because the three months of last year, we had a lot of positive news around a lot of Wall Street names actually entering into crypto, announcing that they're doing very, very big things into crypto. One of them is backed, right? 
um, who is backed by the owner of New York Stock Exchange. So very, very credible names in the New York, um, in Wall Street. And now what we hear, and, and hence from there, it has been delayed a few times already, right? And still to now, they have not, they are not giving any dates. So do not disappoint further. Though the good thing about back is that they continue to to be very actively working on their plans, right? They continue to beef up their team. The latest announcements that they have added a former IBM and Cisco exec who is considered a cyber expert to their team, which is very, very great because you need to have a strong team before you can actually execute really well, right? And of course, they also have announced already their first product, which is a one-day Bitcoin futures. Very, very clear, very professional, right? But it's just when. I think that's when people are very, very, um, they would really like to know when. And of course, the other offering, which is the retail part, they have already partnered with Starbucks to actually accept crypto, though the latest news was that it will be converted into fiat. But still, the fact that they you know accept crypto as a start will be very, very big news again and huge interest for the crypto market. But unfortunately, everything, I know people were hopeful and then nothing happened again and we continue to have range-bound prices. So I do feel and I can sense people are starting to lose interest again and there's that boredom. But it is also at this time, right, that a lot of big firms, including... Um, Thailand's conglomerate called CP Group or Chakron Popan Group. It is really one of the huge conglomerate in Thailand. They are acquiring Asian fintech company Omise. Omise is one of the top 20 coins in terms of market cap, right? Um, and they have Ethereum founder Vitaly Buterin among its advisors. So very, very um, widely respected project called Omizego is their token OMG, right? And now they have been acquired by Thailand CP Group. Thailand CP Group is a very, very well-funded group. They have huge business in Thailand and, you know, super rich. Yes, so they have definitely the track record of execution and, of course, they have now the funding as well. And now that they are getting into crypto by acquiring a very, very top company. And that just shows you the kind of confidence, right? And the kind of growth potential that very successful company that they see in crypto and in january this year as well another huge successfully company in indonesia gojack right they are the first company in um in indonesia to achieve a unicorn status they invested in as well in coins.ph is a uh, crypto trading platform and crypto remittance platform in Philippines, right? Which have seen huge growth in Philippines in terms of the users. So you do see, right, even at this time when everyone, investors especially, normal investors are feeling so downbeat, so totally losing interest and feeling fatigued, right? This is actually when the big players are coming in to invest in this market, yeah? You have all the conglomerate coming in and if you don't follow the news actually these news are not hugely publicized right you just missed it this uh, cp group thailand biggest conglomerate and gojack this did not appear in your typical uh crypto media like coin desk coin telegraph it wasn't reported there right it was through my extensive reading then i found this news and i then pieced it together with all these recent happenings right that first pension fund coming in fidelity already offering crypto custody right um goldman sachs are continue to prepare to see how they can gear up to offer the crypto first they will start off with security token offering according to mike novogratz right so all this news is very very positive but yet right all these are not reflecting the prices but yet the more publicized news is like or the more negative ones like sec delaying their um approval of the bitcoin etf back still no launch date right so yeah and that is no surprise why the bitcoin futures continue to have only five percent chance of achieving ten thousand dollars by um end of this year so i don't know what will happen i don't know when will prices rally again but the fact that a lot of huge names, right? People who have success in execution, people who has you know, good foresight and good visionaries are going into this space now, right? Really tells me that, right? They are doing exactly what everyone else is not doing, which is, um, you know, buy when there is blood in the street, where buy when people are fearful. That's exactly what they're doing. They are throwing in money. They are investing in this space when everyone is getting out. So, 
I just want to end it there, right? Really, digest this. Think of your think for yourself, right? And what the positive news I've given you is only just a sliver of the a lot of positive news happening in the background today, right? I don't want to talk about that again because there's so many positive news. If you just look at the past videos and even look at other channels, you already know a lot of positive news happening, but yet prices are not moving. It's just a matter of time. And when it happens, it will happen suddenly, right? Without any... Um, warning right there will no one who's going to tell you when who knows right no one has a crystal ball but the best thing you can do is just be prepared by you know my opinion not financial advice to invest a small amount of money that you won't regret to lose yeah in case there's a small problem there's a high probability that you will lose your money still but the small probability that it may go up to many times right so yes um hope you enjoyed this episode if you do please subscribe like and let me know what you think and yes, I uh, truly appreciate all your support and all of you watching and listening. And I hope you're having an amazing day ahead. Thank you so much for your time.